Bridging through 10, 5. We can use bridging through 10 to do subtractions. So if I've got a calculation like 43 minus 7, now I'm moving back on my number line, so I'm subtracting, but we're still going to bridge through 10, but this time it's the 10 that comes before the number that we're subtracting from. So if I've got 43, the 10 before that is 40, and children should know that the gap between 40 and 43 is a jump back of 3. So I've already used up 3 of the 7 that I want to subtract, so I'm partitioning my 7 into 3 and 4, and I need to take another 4 off 40, and I should know that, that brings me to 36. So 43 minus 7 is 36.